In the recent update, 2.5, we receive a support for variable fonts across all three Affinity apps. So today I'm going to show you five interesting variable fonts. I will tell you how you can recognize them and how you can use the properties. I'm going to use Affinity Publisher today, but it's a very similar process across the family, so you can do it in Designer and Photo as well. So here I am. The first font I want to suggest you to grab is called Teachers. It's a really standard basic font, but the advantage of it is a variable font with one slider. So as you can see, I prepared this short document for us to see kind of a sample for each interesting font I want to highlight today. I also use this brand new QR code tool. Huh? You can now generate those QR codes from within the program. So I take advantage of that and I put a QR code with a link for each font. So if you want to download this font, just scan this QR code, you will get the link to Google Fonts, the official website, and you can download this for free from Google Fonts. All right. So if I click on this text, I will see this V at the top in properties. So font variation settings. For normal fonts, you cannot click this button, but for variable fonts, you can click on it and you will see one or multiple sliders. That depends on the, how the font is designed. This font is rather simple with one slider. We can change, change how heavy the font will look. So we can got this thin letters or this very heavy letters and everything in between. So that's cool. So that's first font, a very, some may say very generic, very simple look. We can control thickness of the letters from the slider. I think it's rather universal font and it's very easy to mix this font with any other font. So that's why I recommend teachers. And by the way, if you open a font list, you will see what type of font is it. So for teachers, you can see you got this O with the letter V. V stands for variable. So maybe you already got some variable fonts on your machine. To check that, you can turn off filtering. Let's click the last thing, filter by variable fonts, and take a look. On my machine, I got just few. So they're not that common just yet. Everything with this O and V is a variable font that we can control with some sliders. So that's how you can recognize them on the font list. And now we can filter them out and easily pick one. All right, what's the next font? Antonio, as you can see, this font is really like tall with small spaces between letters. So it's a really condensed font. Again, there's a QR code here. Just scan the QR code if you want to download this font for free. I will also drop the link to the PDF. So I'm going to export this whole document with five fonts and five QR codes as a PDF. So you can download that and keep it in your stash for later when you want to use them, you want to download those fonts from QR codes. All right. And if I select this font, there's also only one slider and in very similar manner to decide how heavy letters are. So rather simple to use. And again, free. Next one is the font you may be familiar with. It's from Roboto family. This one is the slab. So it's contrasting really well with the very first font teachers. You can mix them together nicely. And in this case, it's only one variable. So it's also simple to use, but you can push it all the way to 100. And you've got this very slick lines. All you can move it all the way here. What if we try to override this? Let's say 1500, enter. Nothing happens, it's jumped back to 900. Okay, here's the QR code. The next font is a bit more fancy and it's perfect for those nice, elegant, glamour headers. And for the variable settings, we got two sliders this time. One is the weight of it and one is the width of it. So we can kind of, I don't want to use the word stretch it because it's way more advanced than just stretching the font, right? 
All right, so now we got two sliders, we've got more control for this font. And there's one more font in today's video I want to recommend you. This one got a very technical, almost a bit sci fi look, very geometrical. And for this font, we got only one slider that will change the thickness of the font. And I like it, it's this, the very thin one, it's really, really nice, but the thicker one looks good as well and it's very like squarish you don't see any like round elements here except of those like few places when it's really contrasting with that squarish font so i really like this one and as you can see works well even as the longer text here and even as the smaller text so it's really flexible font and of course i prepare a qr code for quick download all right so if you want to start with variable fonts, you don't have any variable fonts on your machine, you can start with those five fonts and check them out. Check out how easy it is to modify some settings from those variable fonts. Simply select a text, pick a variable font from the list, and then click this V button for variation settings. Use your sliders. You can have three sliders sometimes, I think, sometimes even four depends on the font all right if you like those fonts let me know in the description i may prepare part two with five more interesting variable fonts to use with affinity apps i will see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to download the pdf with all of those samples and qr codes so you can grab those fonts easily just by scanning qr codes bye